Hello, Graham. Good morning, Mr. Dumpton. Are you all right? I'm trying to keep fit. Oh. Caught much? No. You've been here long? All night. That was sorry to hear about the Skylark. <laughs> How did it come to sink? It's something submerged. No. What happened then? Uh, dry rot. Oh, dear. Took a kick at the engine, put my foot through the boards. Just about sums up Cocklesea, that. I don't know so much, Graham. I think it's beginning to come back to life, you know. Well, you're doing your best, Mr Dumpton. The beauty contest was wonderful. Yeah, it didn't go badly, did it? Emma was wonderful. Yes. She's got everything these days. Keen on her, are you? <laughs> what have I got for her? Where's my badge of life? Your what? Well, my something that says I'm something. I can't even fish anymore. I must be good at that. It's in the blood. My father was King Neptune. Was he? You don't believe me. There's his hat. King Neptune. King of Cocklesea. C -c -c cockles, cockles from Cocklesea. With a cockle down me throttle, I'm as cocky as can be. C -c -c cocky, c -c cocky as can be. Whoa, cockles, cockles, cockles from Cocklesea. There's not another cockle what'll satisfy your throttle like a cockle from Cocklesea. Kipper's ever, please. The kipper's off. I've scrambled. Scrambled. Another scrambled! Morning, Emma. Mr. Thompson. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Morning, Morning Joe. Hello, Arthur. <sighs> Big day today. I need a good breakfast. You're in the wrong place. You've been jogging again? No, no, I had to take a pause on that. I strained my coccyx. Nasty. Yes, yes, it is. Now, I got the interview today with the head of Neptune Frozen Fish. Trying to get him to sponsor the King Neptune contest. Neptune sponsors Neptune. You see, they ought to go for that, don't you think so? What do you fancy, Mr Dumpton? Oh, uh, kippers, please, Emma. Kippers off. I've scrambled. Scrambled. No, I'm really, really excited about this. Do you know, they haven't had the King Neptune here since the Festival of Britain. Really? I mean, what is the matter with this town? And I wouldn't have known about it if it hadn't been for Graham's father's cap. Hey? He was the last king, you know. Graham reveres him for that. Uh, <laughs> needs to revere him for something. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Uh, Harry, Jen, I think of Harley Pool. Sorry, Mrs. Dibley. Jack, Arthur has important business this morning. He has to see a man about King Neptune. So I want you to go down to the pavilion and keep an eye on this morning's sing-along. No. Tell him exactly what to do, Arthur. I'm sure he can manage it. No. Of course you will, Jack. It's quite straightforward. I mean, no. I'm not going to the pavilion. I'm going to Starmouth to paint. Jack! Look, Claudia, it's all right, really. I've got Graham coming round, and there won't be many there. There's no need to trouble Jacques. Well, it's no trouble for him. No, we'll be fine, really. Well, if you're quite sure. All right, then, Jack. Thank you. Harry, Gemma, hardly fool. Gloria suffers from selective deafness. Whenever I say no, it never penetrates her ear. But things are going to change. I've had enough. People are going to learn that I mean what I say. Hello, Jack. Oh, hello, Mabel. Busy? Yes. I've got an empty house. Ah. Must work, though, Mabel. We artists must have discipline. You can take an hour off. Discipline, Mabel. 
Give us a little bit here, then. Here? Yeah. We're very exciting. <laughs> Go on. Had we but whirled enough in time, this coyness lady would have cried. Mm. Would sit. G George! G George! Where are you off to, then? Down out. We stock up. Harbour? Hypermarket. That'll do. Disappeared, Mabel. Go, go, go! Get me out of this bloody town! I'm gonna be back in this bloody town in half an hour! That's very good. You've got a great talent. How much is that picture? Or don't you sell pictures? Sometimes. Well, I have no wish to insult your integrity. Oh, no, no, I wasn't suggesting that. Under certain circumstances, I do sometimes sell them. And under certain circumstances, how much would that one be? 50 pounds? I'll take it. Unframed, of course. No, of course. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry, I haven't got any money on me. Well, come back when you have. No, I've got a better idea. Why don't you come with me? And I'll give it to you. Come aboard my yacht. Hello. Hello. Something up? Everything. Bloody woman. Everything. Oh, dear. She doesn't know what she wants. You're a beauty queen, she says. What she carried, she says. And when you finish cleaning the floor, nip down to the pavilion and serve the tea. Well, what am I? A queen or a bloomin' slave? I don't mind which. I just want to know. Carry yourself like Princess Di when I'm mopping floors and slopping out tea. I think you carry yourself better than Princess Di. Yeah, well. It's a long time yet till Hartlepool. I'm not carrying on like this till then. I'm not going to win up there anyway. Oh? I think you will. Yeah. Think I've got a chance then? Huh? I think you'll win the final of finals in the Alhambra Complex Acapulco. <laughs> Don't be daft. You'd be wonderful. You'd be a star. I suppose so. What are you gonna do now you've lost the skylark? Oh. I'll get by. I'm going for King. King? Well, King Neptune. My father was, you know. Mr. Dumpton's going to bring it back. I'm going for it. I mean. If I was to win, you'd be queen, and I'd be king. Enter. Good morning, Mr. Dampton. Good morning, Mr. Swarby. Starvey. I'm sorry? The name is Starvey. Oh, isn't that what I heard? You said Storby, but it doesn't matter. Sit down. Oh, yes. sorry. Thank you. <coughs> oh. <laughs> dear. Oh. Sorry. <coughs> now, Mr. Dumpton, just take your time and explain briefly in your own way the nature of your proposition. Well, uh, briefly, always best, uh, I find, but take your time. Yes, well, um, to put it briefly, um, I... <coughs> yes? I, uh, I come from Cocosy. <coughs> Uh, up to date, really. Good. And uh, perhaps I better come to why I'm here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well, <clears throat> the name of your firm is Neptune Frozen Fish. Yes. Of course, you know that. 
Uh, but what I'm saying is that uh, years ago, there was in Cocklesea... Yes? A very famous fishing competition called the King Neptune. <laughs> the, the, the same name as yours. Yes. And this was uh, an all-night uh, competition, and uh, the winner was, uh, was, the one, was the one who... Uh, the one who caught the most fish? Uh, th th that's right, yes, yes. Now, you see, I want to bring that competition back. Bring back the, the Neptune. <laughs> And as the name of your firm is Neptune, and you sell fish, and the um, competition's called Neptune, and it's for catching the fish, I, I thought it would make wonderful sense if um, you were to be the people to um, sponsor the event. <laughs> it's uh, logical, isn't it? Um, could be, yes. I mean, it wouldn't cost you very much, and uh, it would make some wonderful advertising. Yeah. Yes. So, um... Well, what do you think of the idea, then? <laughs> no. Oh. Now, I'm very sorry, Mr Dumpton, but to put it briefly, given the state of world recession and the slimming down process which this necessitates all round, I'm sure you understand if I... <laughs> Good morning, Mr Frinton. Oh, Starvey. What is to... Oh, I'm so sorry. Didn't realise you were engaged. Oh, that's quite all right, sir. Uh, Mr Frinton, Mr Dumpton. Uh, Mr Frinton is our managing director. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? <laughs> Mr. Dampton was just leaving. Oh. oh, fine. Fine. Yes, I obviously I was just leaving. I mean, I've been here briefly, putting the case briefly for a, a very sensible way in which your firm might advertise. Uh. However, I find there's no interest in increasing your business here, so I shall take the sponsorship of the King Neptune elsewhere. Uh, excuse me. Did you say the King Neptune? Yes. The King Neptune fishing competition? Yes. In Cocklesea? Yes. Good heavens above. I thought that was dead. Well, it was. And I'm bringing it back to life. Good Lord. Hey, just a minute. Uh, where's that cap, Starby? Cap? Oh, that cricket cap, sir. Well, I'll put that in the drawer. You fool, it's not a cricket cap. Uh, you know what that is? It's the King Neptune. Yes. I was King Neptune in 33. Greatest honour I ever had. I named the firm after the competition. And uh, the Neptune's coming back. Yes. Starby, I've got a grand idea. We'll sponsor it. One kipper, one haddock, one blood and one fish cake. Even got the menu in the mood today. She's pleased with you, Arthur, and so she should be. You've done well. I'm rather excited about it, I must say. Justifiably so. Of course, it won't be a giant affair this year. I mean, it's too short notice for that. There'll be 30 or 40 competitors, maybe. But the main thing is to re-establish the event. This is it. The Cocklesea Neptune. And next year, it could be three or four hundred, you know. Mm. Two teas. Carry, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a good mood today. Oh, I'm just happy for you, Arthur, that's all. Sponsorship, you see. That's the key to everything these days. They're providing the trophy and the money for the first prize and the do afterwards. Oh. Sponsorship, you know. That's what you need, Jacques. You could do with a sponsor. <laughs> Where are you off to today, then? Oh, I'm, I'm uh, going over to Starmouth to paint. Yeah. You spent quite a lot of time over there lately. Uh... Yes, I suppose I have. I, uh, I do find the ambiance simpatico. <laughs> How much? Good day, sir. Good day to you, Sylvester. Miss Stapmeyer asks if you go straight down to her, sir. What? Oh, yes, of course. You know something, Sylvester? What's that, sir? There is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Half as much worth doing as simply messing about in boats. Jacques. Uh, yes, Veronica. Pause for a minute, dear. I want you to come over here and fill my glass and be serious with me. Yes, of course. Shh, Picasso, Gauguin. <laughs> oh, are they sweet to be so protective of me? Yes. <laughs> You're very fond of champagne, aren't you, Jacques? I have a taste for it, yes. With poor little Lautrec, it was absent. 
Nobody's perfect. Come over here and sit down by me. Now, I want you to be really serious with me. Oh, yeah, yes, of course. Had we but world enough in time, this coyness lady were no crime. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean that. Well, no, it's not that I don't like that. It's just that I don't mean that right now. <laughs> I'm sailing tomorrow, Jacques. Tomorrow? Well, I've put it off and put it off. I only meant to be here for a couple of days. I do not like stour mouth, Jacques. I'd rather be in the Greek islands. Yes, I can see you have a point. Well, I fought long and hard for this palimony. I prefer to spit in his eye from the sun. I only postponed the sailing this long because of you. You know how I respect your talents. How much I'd love to have you along. But you've got to make up your mind. Well, couldn't you postpone it just a little? Just, just a week or two. You're trying to prolong the status quo. I should begin to think you wish to cling on to the creature comforts, but do not wish to come with me. No, 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 I didn't mean that. What I meant was, well, tomorrow. It's quite soon. Well, it's not just me, Jacques. This country is uncivilized. This morning, at their usual time, I took little Picasso and Gauguin to do their poo-poo. And when we got on deck, they looked towards the land with such sad eyes. I was absolutely mortified. No, my dears, I said to them, you cannot go ashore, even though I have a shovel and a poo-poo bag. If you put one paw on English soil, you spend six months in quarantine. Now, this isn't so in France or Italy or Greece. Then let us leave here tomorrow, Mommy, they said. And I had to give them my word on that. So I must sail tomorrow morning, Jacques. And I want you to come along. I must have artists in my life, Jacques. My analyst said so. And I've proved him right. Oh, please. Come with me, Jacques. What a wonderful artistic life we'd have together. Just you and me. And Picasso and Gauguin. On the other hand, if you will not, I should be forced to call in at Saint Tropez. And artists are two for a dollar there. Oh, Jacques. Look in my eyes, dear, and tell me your decision. I should use maggots. Well, you think so, Mum? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Maggots or worms, whatever you choose. Pa, I've got to get it right. I've got to win. She weren't so set on it, Graham. Your dad was King Neptune. Look how he turned out. I bet you were proud of him, though. Oh, I was, yes. He just won it when he started courting me. To be courted by King Neptune was something. You should take that job you were offered at sea. Do you good to travel? I don't want to travel. I want to be king. Look, if it means so much to you, I'll give you some advice. Yeah? I had a cousin once who used to go in for competitions. Yeah? And when the fish he caught were too small to win, yeah. He dropped little pebbles down their gallants. <laughs> Made them heavier, see? Oh, but, Mum, that's cheating. Well, only sort of. What the hell is he up to now? It's marking out the sections for the fishing contest. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Are you busy? Yes. Oh. <laughs> right. Is he completely round the twist? Oh, fair play. He's trying to bring this town back to life. Take Frankenstein to bring this town back to life. Well, go, Jack, go. Stop moaning and go. You've got the chance. Go. 
go. Oh, for 15 years you've been screaming to go. Well, the time has come. <laughs> Toodaloo. Go with her. Now put your feet where your mouth has always been. If she'd offer me what this one's offering you, I'd run away with Maggie Thatcher. There's a lot to be said for Maggie Thatcher. Eh? She doesn't have Gauguin and Picasso. Besides, supposing I went and I didn't like it, how the hell would I get back? Get back? Yeah. Get back? Oh, my God, what a bold adventurer. No, 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 be fair. What I mean is, I haven't got any money. I have to have some money for emergencies. How much do you want? Rather more than you could lend me. Yeah, well, I, mean, I, I wasn't proposing to... Oh, to uh, hey. that, uh, you've got your methods. No, 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 no. What did you, uh... <coughs> what did you, uh, tell her you'd do? <coughs> well, I said I'd probably go. Seemed the easiest way. If I'm not there, she'll sail without me. The easiest way? Mm. Jack, you are a coward. A coward? I'll tell you something, George. If I'd any money, I'd bloody go. Well, as I say, you've got your methods. I've got 50 men for a pre-fishing team, and six of the wives are staying the night. Come back tomorrow. You'll be welcome then. and offer you a drink with the compliments of the Marine Pavilion. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Dubois. Gloria, have you got a moment? Yes, of course. Carry on, Emma. <coughs> May I wish you good luck and offer you a drink with the compliments of Miss Cocklesby. I was just telling Mr. Dumpton I should wait for the offer and return for the Wayne and the Crowley tomorrow morning. Uh, Mr. Starby should represent me to the night. I'm sure he'll represent you very well. How goes the uh, organisation, Mr. Dumpton? Well, briefly... Arthur's covered everything. Everything. Yes, I think I have. Of course, next year we'll be under the auspices of SAMF. SAMF? SAMF. Sam? Sam. The Sea Anglers Match Federation. We've had to improvise a bit this year, but uh, we've dug up some very good stewards. You'll be in charge of those. Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Frenchley will be chief judge, so I think we can assure ourselves there'll be fair play all round. Oh, no fears about that, Mr. Dumpton. Angling's a clean game, always was. Neptune, the cleanest competition of all. That's why it's so good to have the firm associated with it. It's the challenge that counts. Man against fish. The challenge and the honour. There's no honour in cheating. I shall keep my eyes open anyway. You won't need to stop me, believe you me. I've always said an angler's catch is his bond. Have a drink. Thank you. <laughs> How are you feeling? I don't know. There's a lot of people here. I suppose it's all down to the luck of the hook. Well, it's just a game. That's the only way to look at it. It's not. It's too important for that. Some nice fish in here. I was just looking at that bass. Will you get him round here if you're lucky? If I could catch one like that. Well, pinch it, defreeze it, say you hooked it in the night. But that's cheating, Emma. Well, you can't cheat in the Neptune. Why not? Well, th there'd be no honour in the crown if you cheated. Oh. I mean, you didn't cheat with Miss Cocklesey, did you? Well, sort of. Carriage, Emma. Hartley Pool. Oh, 
Look, would you do me a favour? Would you put that in the safe for me? Right. Look, look, Arthur, I want to ask you a favour. If I allowed you in, I'd have to allow them all. What's this? It's the registration. Registration. You don't want to have it hanging about up here, you know. So will you put it in the safe? A safe? Yeah, you know the combination, don't you? Safe combination? Yeah, it's in the office. Yes, yes. Right, now, you step in my safe. All three all together. I mean, I've had enough of it. Chuck! What was it when you last me? Oh, it doesn't matter, Arthur. I can see you're very busy. I spun crab. Yes. I suppose it is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. And ladies. Uh, I'm sorry? And ladies. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen and ladies. And welcome to the rebirth of the Cocklesea King Neptune competition. Organised by the Marine Pavilion and sponsored by Neptune Frozen Fish. As fresh as the moment it's hooked. Now, I'll try to make the organisation of the competition as simple as possible. On the other hand, to afford equal distribution of opportunity for all, a few minor complications are necessarily involved, which I will now elucidate with the help of Miss Cocklesey. Thank you. Give her a bit of a hand. Give her a bit of a hand. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Now, on the table in front of you here, you'll see that I've placed three buckets. A red bucket, a yellow bucket and a green bucket. Now, if you wish to fish from the east end of the beach, you will take a blue disc from the red bucket. And if you wish to fish from the west end of the beach, you will take a pink disc from the yellow bucket. And if you wish to fish from the centre of the beach, you will take a brown disc from the green bucket. Now, all the discs are numbered, and the beach has been divided into numbered sections. Uh, uh, just, a minute, just a minute, Graham. Haven't finished yet. Haven't finished. <laughs> now, to allow for the fact that more of you may wish to fish from the east than from the west, or more from the west than the centre, or more from the centre than the east, or vice versa, I've devised a system which is similar to proportional representation, whereby each of you is given a second choice. Now, if, for example, your first choice was a pink disc from the yellow bucket, you should also take a white disc from either the red bucket or the green bucket. Now, if the combined totals of the numbers on your discs is less than 17, then you've been allocated the position of your choice, i.e. the yellow bucket. And if the combined totals of the numbers on your discs is more than 17, then you've been allocated the position of your second choice. That is the red bucket or the green bucket. Depends on what you chose in the first place. Or perhaps for the sake of clarification, I should say what you chose in the second place. Of course, this is only one example. I... Right, come on. Wait a minute. Look, what do you mean I'm a wally? I mean, it's perfectly simple. Can you show me your discs, please? Blue discs, blue discs, red bucket. You're at the wrong end of the beach. I'm sorry. Just other end of the beach. You push, mate. Okay, carry all my gear up this way. I want you playing it now. Oh, that is childish. Now, really. Five, four, three, two, one, off. Yes. Not much happening. Oh, well. 
That's fishing. Oh. All I can say, if I'm on the shank, is your guess is as good as mine. Yes. What would your guess be? Well, if I was your friend who's thinking of doing this, I'd say his friend would know who'd done it. Yes. But, uh, would he prosecute? Depends how good a friend he is. Oh, he's a very good friend indeed. <laughs> At least he thinks he is. Then I'd say you might get away with it. I mean, your friend who's thinking of doing it might. Thank you, Rosa. I think you're right, yes. Mm. You won't, um... Oh, good Lord, no. We like doctors and priests. It's sacrosanct. Yes. Mind? No, no. We're safely in the shroud of night. Would you like a fisherman's friend? Nobody's caught anything yet. Oh, well. That's fishing. <laughs> well, don't be silly, Gloria. Somebody's got to catch something. Somebody's got to be crowned. I see you standing alone without a dream in your heart. George, can I hide my stuff under your van for a couple of hours? You're going? Certainly. Spare shirt, knickers, toothbrush. Good God. I'm a man of action, you know. What you going to do for money? I have my methods. Oh, I don't know what to say. George, could I borrow your washing up gloves? I was 14 then. Yes, I suppose you were. We walked right along the beach, arm in arm, from one end to the other. Just like this. I know. I've got a flask here. Would you like a drink? Thank you. Are you staying up all night? I think I will. They're only getting tiddlers. I'm getting nothing. Doesn't matter, you know. Not being king. In many ways, I wish I wasn't queen. It's not all it's cracked up to be. So bloomin' responsible for a start. Oh, the queen, she's the queen. Watch out and see if she behaves like a queen. All I want is a little home. A very little home. And be ordinary. I want to be king. And then I remember another night, you and I. I wonder if you remember this. I shouldn't think so. Have another drink. I 
think I'd better double lock the office door tonight. Emma! What are you doing? Eh? What have you got in there? Sandwiches for the stewards. We'll take them round then. Right. Right. Oh, I, uh, I haven't double-locked it. Uh, I'd better do so and get back to the competition, I think. I'm sure they're managing very well out there. I wanted to have a little talk to you. Oh, well, I, I don't think there's... Uh, I want no. you to tell me exactly what went wrong with your marriage. I feel I've a right to know that. Oh, it's a long story, Gloria. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. We've got all night. It's our beauty queen, isn't it? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. I can see that. <laughs> it's obvious. Have a sandwich. They're for the stewards. Oh, good. We need to keep up our strength if we're looking for something suspicious. It's patty. Hmm? Fish patty. Oh. <laughs> You're from Neptune, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Are they really as fresh as the day they're hooked? Mm, that's right. Of course, you have to defreeze them first. Oh, you're right again. <laughs> How long does uh, that take? Well, it all depends on the size of the fish. I mean, there's eight hours or ten. As long as that? Oh, you can always put them into cold water if you're in a rush. <laughs> oh. I think I wanted to talk about it, but once you get started, you can't stop, you know. <laughs> well, I've always said, better out than in. Well, this is it. Anyway, there we were. Come on. Come on. Sounds a queer fish. Oh, no, no. Oh, I like him. Well, about a year after that, we spent a few days in Brittany. Very pleasant it was, too. Come on! Come on? That's about the end of it. I'm glad you've told me. I feel closer to you now. Oh. Good Lord. We must go. Oh, let's uh, just stay a little longer. Well, we must go, Gloria. They'll be wondering where we got to. You see, Arthur, my life... For the past 20 years, my life has been one long story of unfulfilled... How we, man? So, that's the way it's been. It's not perfect. But I cope. We must go. There's a lot to do, you know. Yes. Oh. I'm glad I had this other lock put on. That's it. I wonder how young. Oh. 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 
It's Miss Cocklesea again. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You're staying up late. I've got to help with the celebrations. It's not worth going to bed. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Sit down here. And tell me the story of your life. Queen of Cocklesea. <laughs> you know what I think, Emma? I think that we two should get to know each other better. I've got quite a reputation, you know. I'm told that I'm a very good lover. I'm told that... You're a tough! <laughs> I feel a threat! Oh, my God! What's going on? He's falling in the water. You all right, Mr. Starby? You all right, Mr. Starby? Oh, fine, thank you, fine. What a shame. Five, four, three, two, one, time! me best. I had a few at the end, but I don't think I've made it. Never mind. I'll carry your bucket for you. Frank Bunthorpe from Rochester, eight pounds, seven ounces. <laughs> Our next contestant, please. Here you are. Good luck. Graham Camper. Graham Camper. Uh, four dabs. Small, but a good weight. Very good. Six pounds, two ounces. Six pounds, two ounces. Ladies and gentlemen, please, just one moment. I don't think this morning we should see better than this. Oh. <laughs> Grand total, 14 pounds, four ounces. Oh. Oh. Uh, sir. Not now, Starby. Uh, it's very urgent, sir.
I'm so sorry. I must, uh, I must make a little delay. tell you what pain it gives me to say this, but one of these fish is stuffed full of pebbles. He took that job at sea. Oh, I'd be good for him. Hope it didn't hit you too hard. Oh, no. I'm going out with Mr. Storvey tomorrow night. He says he likes the spirited girl. Oh. Carry, Gemma. Acapulco. Here I come. Last Saturday week I got fed up, I went to Cockle Sea. I took the lovely lady in me life. We strolled along the sand, the daisy held me and I fancied I had found me trouble and strife. She loved the ozone, she loved the silver sea. But was she quite the right girl for me? Let's see! I put her to the test, displayed the very best. And while she gulped, I said, now honestly, do you like a cockle from Cockle Sea? c c cockles cockles from Cockle Sea. With a cockle down your frontal, you're as cocky as can be. c c cocky c cocky as can be. Wow, cockles cockles Another cockle, what I'll exercise your front or like a cockle from Cockle Sea. Give us a plateful. A cockle from Cockle Sea. A, a cockle from Cockle Sea. Oh, yes, I like it. 